Greetings, dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to the Awakened Faith Channel, where we seek enlightenment and spiritual nourishment. In today's profound discourse, we're privileged to delve into the message imparted by St. Michael to Father Jim Blount. Prepare your hearts and minds to receive the divine revelations and wisdom shared through Father Jim's encounter with the Lord. This sacred message holds the potential to enlighten our spirits and deepen our connection with the divine. May this encounter with our Lord Jesus through Father Jim's message illuminate our paths and fortify our faith. Join us as we embark on this journey of spiritual enrichment and discovery. Thank you for being a part of our Awakened Faith community. Message of St. Michael the Archangel for the End Times to Father Jim Blount on September 30th, 2023. Dear beloved children of our King and Lord, Jesus Christ, I, St. Michael, approach you under the divine mandate of the Holy Trinity. I come forth bearing a solemn call to unity in prayer, a clarion call resonating through the heavens, beseeching humanity to gather their hearts and souls in unison. I implore you, dear children, to unite in fervent prayer, joining your voices and spirits in communion for the forthcoming synod. Let your prayers ascend as an offering, seeking divine guidance and illumination for this critical gathering. Pray earnestly for the souls of those tasked with leading nations, invoking wisdom and discernment upon them as they navigate the challenges of our times. But my plea extends beyond the boundaries of leaders and rulers. It touches upon each individual soul. Direct your prayers toward your brethren, especially those who reside in the shadows of spiritual estrangement from the divine. Let your petitions be a lifeline reaching out to uplift and guide those who feel distanced from God's loving embrace. In these end times, Unity in prayer becomes an indispensable shield against the impending trials. Let the harmonious chorus of your prayers resonate across the cosmos, resonating with the echoes of divine intervention and grace. Children of the Most High, heed this call with hearts open wide, as your prayers possess the potential to shape the fate of nations and illuminate the paths of lost souls. Unite in prayer, for it is through unity that the divine will be manifested on earth. Beloved children of our benevolent King and Lord, Jesus Christ, in these tumultuous times, do you yearn for enduring peace? Embrace the divine path outlined by God's will. Let it not merely reside within you as a fleeting feeling, but rather, endeavor to embody and live it daily. It is imperative that you discern the subtle nuances between the signs ordained by the divine design and the disruptions induced by mankind's misguided manipulation of technology. Behold, the very earth trembles and convulses in various corners, its tectonic plates shifting ominously in the present moment. Witness the sun, a celestial sphere, emitting potent flares towards your world, exerting an influence that disrupts the natural order. Feel the resonance of these cosmic disturbances as they collide with your fragile existence, inducing seismic tremors that reverberate across the globe. I urge you, dear children, to awaken from the slumber of ignorance and heed the portents woven into the fabric of these occurrences. Distinguish between the hand of God shaping the universe and man's misuse of technology, for therein lies the key to navigating these tempestuous waters. The urgency lies in your discernment, in recognizing the divine patterns amidst the chaos and technology-induced disruptions. Seek not just shelter in God's will, but be the embodiment of peace amidst turmoil. Surrender to the divine plan, embracing the tranquility that stems from alignment with God's will, and become beacons of serenity in a world gripped by upheaval. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen your immune system. New disease appears with greater force. Use Good Samaritan oil as protection. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, beware. Help each other when dealing with symptoms of illness. The respiratory system is under great attack in these and future moments. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you have produced instruments of destruction more dangerous than those that existed before, to use them against humanity itself. Instruments of destruction with a large scope and constituting a great threat to man, a deadly weapon. The powers use these weapons against their brothers, not knowing that a certain great power has a weapon that will annihilate everything it touches and will cause its enemies to retreat. A great terror comes in the middle of a war and causes the loss of thousands of lives. The dust will cause death. Place a medallion of saint in the door of your house. Benedict as protection, however. What will stop the enemy of the soul and his servants is purity in man. The state of grace is necessary. 
Otherwise, it is difficult for you to accept, achieve the protection that comes from our King and Lord Jesus Christ and from our Queen and Mother. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you must remain alert in the face of events. Use the sacramentals, not forgetting to wear application of the scapular. Pray, children. Pray for New York. Pray diligently. Pray, children. Pray that the great power of the Most High will sustain you. Pray, children. Pray for Argentina. It is in danger. Pray, children. Pray for Central America. An earthquake is coming. I bless you. Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail, most pure Mary, conceived without sin. Hail, most pure Mary, conceived without sin. Hail, most pure Mary, conceived without sin. Brothers and sisters, let us always be assured of God's protection. For this it is urgent that we draw closer to our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Let us devote ourselves to our beloved Archangels. Archangels of God, defenders and messengers, God's light and medicine. Be our salvation and support at all times. We ask you to raise our prayers before the throne of the Holy Trinity, so that the man of power will no longer harm humanity, but so that our lives may take place in peace and brotherly love. Amen. May each of us, being a servant of the Lord, maintain faith, hope, and love to the highest degree. In the face of the upcoming announced events, the answer is faith, faith, faith. Amen. Glorious Saint Michael the Archangel, Guardian and Protector, beacon of celestial strength, we humbly call upon you in our times of need. With your resplendent sword, defend us against the darkness that seeks to envelop our lives. O oh, valiant warrior, vanquisher of evil, be our shield against the malevolent forces that threaten our peace. Your radiant presence instills courage within us and fortifies our souls in moments of uncertainty. Guide us through the trials and tribulations of this mortal existence, leading us towards the eternal light of divine grace. Uphold us in your vigilant watch, shielding us from the perils that lurk in the shadows. Bless us with your unwavering strength and divine protection, ensuring our spirits remain steadfast amidst adversity. Saint Michael, epitome of valor and righteousness, intercede on our behalf, and may your celestial presence fill our lives with peace, hope, and unwavering faith. Amen. As we reach the conclusion of this presentation, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for tuning in and engaging with us. May the blessings of the divine encompass you, guiding your steps and illuminating your path. Your support is invaluable to us. Kindly express your appreciation by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your involvement propels us forward in our mission to spread enlightening content. May the grace of the Almighty be with you always. Stay connected for more enriching discussions and inspiring content. We eagerly anticipate your presence in our upcoming videos. Once again, thank you for being an integral part of our community. Your participation motivates us to continue sharing content that resonates and uplifts. Until we meet again, may God's blessings be with you. See you in our next video.